What is good you guys? Hope you guys are doing fine. Um, for today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I cut my pinch weld. So this actually just doesn't apply to my LX470. It pretty much just the same with like a Tacoma or any trucks out there that has a pinch weld. Um, cutting it is pretty much straightforward. You just, you know, I'll show you guys how I did it. But like I said, it's pretty straightforward and um, this is done usually when you guys need a little bit more clearance for a bigger tire. So enough said, I'm just going to go ahead and do it and I'll show you guys how it's done. Alright, before we move on with the video, I just want to ask a big favor from everybody and that is by liking and subscribing to this channel. It really helps me a lot and helps put the videos that I make up in the algorithm and you know, just for more views and more likes but anyways enough said let's just go dive right in all right guys so as you can see here this is the back part of the front fender and this part right here is pretty much covering the pinch weld of the vehicle um, this thing is just plastic similar to my Tacoma you can easily just cut it which I will do in a little bit um, and then once it's exposed you can just do the same thing that I did with the pinch weld of my Tacoma. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Alright there it is you guys as you can see I just made a simple cut of the fender liner. So I made sure I started here and worked my way all around and made sure I left this tab right here so something's still holding it um, I just use a simple blade or you can use a scissor if you want but yeah so it's pretty much a simple cut and now that the pinch weld is exposed which is this part right here I'm gonna start cutting lines And I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer that and fold it. So mind you, this is a pre um, this is in preparation for me putting a 295 70 R17. So that technically is like a 33.5 inch tire, but um, who's counting? <laughs> I just want to, you know, I just want a little bit bigger tire. And like I said, it, this is just in preparation for that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll show you guys how to do it. <laughs> All right, so we're here on the passenger side now. As you can see, I just turned the, wheel, uh, the wheels so that you'll have more access to this part. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did in the driver side. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have those lines already. It will just make the um, hammering part easier because you're only hammering a portion at a time instead of, um, you know, just hammering the whole thing all together. So, for this project, by the way, I'm using an angle grinder. So, like I said, I just cut some increments there and I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to hammer them inside. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's all tucked in now. It's not the prettiest yet, because I haven't painted it yet, but I just want to show you guys how it looks like right after you tuck them in. Uh, what I did is I used a hammer to just, you know, bend it as much as possible. And I did cut a little portion of this part as well, just to make it leveled out. and. I think I saved about, I don't know, an inch or two for clearance. And let me show you guys the one that's not yet tucked in on the other side. So as you can see, the one that on the other side, it's all flush with this one. So you're saving the whole part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the passenger side and do the same thing. 
Alright guys, so as you can see, it's all painted now. After I tucked it in, I just used the rust -Oleum, uh paint. Um, it looks pretty stock, to be honest. It um, The video doesn't give it justice, but... Yeah. It looks legit. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, this is just in preparation for me uh, putting in some... 34 or 33 and a half tires uh, I'm anticipating that it will rub if I don't do this so I might as well do it um, so yeah that's it it looks really clean so if you guys um, if you guys like this kind of video please don't forget to subscribe again this is part of the videos that I'll be taking and posting in regards to modifying this guy my new LX 470 and this is the other side it doesn't it's kind of dark now so but it looks clean but anyway like I said don't forget to subscribe and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.